in life, sometimes we have to burn the bridge. Sometimes we have to burn the boat. We have to shut that door permanently and stop looking backward. Because when we remove the option of coming back, when we remove a thought of oh, if I fail, I will go back. When we no longer have that thought in our mind, we will put 100% of effort into make it happen. The question is, why do you want to go back to that average life? Why do you want to go back to where you not even happy with? Many times we leave that door open, we leave that window open, we leave that boat over there. Because in the back of our mind, we tell ourselves that, hey, if I go for my greatness and if I don't succeed, at least I can go back. It makes totally sense. But do you know what's the downside when we leave that door open? Because when we leave that door open, we are not 100% committed to our greatness. And that is the problem. Because our default setting is we love the comfort zone. We love the familiar. And guess what? The moment we experience the discomfort, the moment we experience the inconvenience, our brains right away tell us to go back. And if we leave that door open, I guarantee you, 8 out of 10, you will go back and stay in that comfort zone. That's what most people do when they try something one or twice and they fail they tell themselves right away to go back to stay in that comfort zone and they use logic and reason to justify why their decisions are the best it's so sad but it's also so true like look at the job then there's a reason why you leave your job many people when they leave their jobs and looking for something new in their life they don't want to burn that bridge because in the back of their mind they tell themselves that hey if this new job is not great I will come back to my old job even though it's not great but it's not that bad right so I will just settle for the average they leave that door open they don't want to burn that bridge they leave the boat over there so that when they experience pain when they experience the unknown they can go back. But why do you even want to go back to where you're not even happy with? People don't ask themselves that question. Why do you want to go back to that mediocre life? People advise me all the time that don't burn the bridge. I'm not sure it's just me, but I'm really a firm believer on like burning the bridge. Even though like a few years ago, I didn't even understand why. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, why? It's like, yes, I'm not intentionally burn the bridge. But if something happens and it forces me to burn the bridge, then I will burn the bridge. Because when we burn the bridge, when we burn the boat, we know for sure that there's no option to go back and the only path for you is moving forward. And when you know for sure that the only path that you can take now is moving forward, you will put 100% effort 200% effort and to make it happen. If you are not happy with that place, why do you even want to go back? And believe it or not, coming back also means that you don't trust yourself. You don't trust your ability that you have what it takes. You subtle communicate that it's okay to settle for less than what you want. If you're not happy with that job, then leave and remember to burn the bridge so that you can tell yourself that, hey, either I succeed or I die. That's it. There's no option of coming back. If you give yourself a permission to go back, I guarantee you, when a difficulty arises, most likely you will talk yourself to go back. I remember when I went through a long-term relationship breakup. Somewhere in my mind, there was a thought that, hey, if I went for my greatness, and if I did not succeed, I could always go back to that old relationship. Right? It still makes sense in the moment, because it's helped me feel safe, security, 
And I remember every time when I put myself out there and I felt my thoughts right away is hey, you could always come in back to that comfort zone. You could always come in back to that last relationship that you broke up with. And man, there were so many moments that I tempted to go back. Because that's what our brains have been conditioned. We wanted to go back when we experienced pain. When we experienced the discomfort. Our brains don't like that. It doesn't like the unfamiliar. It doesn't like the discomfort. But I also know that when I leave the door open for that relationship, I also subtly give myself a permission to fail. I somewhat give myself a permission to go back. Because the path to greatness is undoubtedly is a difficult path. It contains a lot of struggles. It contains a lot of storms. It contains a lot of challenges. We all know that it's a part of life. And I know that when I give myself a permission to go back, and the moment that I experience the pain, the discomfort, guess what? I will most likely go back. And that's why we have to burn the bridge. That's why we have to burn the boat and say goodbye to the past, even though it is a good past. When we're thinking about burning the bridge, it's not necessary that because of the past, is bad. No. Sometimes the past is really good, but deep down in your soul, you want to go for your greatness. You want to go for the best. Then you have to burn the good. Then you have to willing to burn the boat, even though you have so much good memories with it. And that's one of the difficulties that you have to do. Because our purpose and our vision is more important than anything else. And when we know that there is no bridge or boat to return, the only option that we have is to keep moving forward. We'll find a way and persist until the end. That's in the mentality that you and I need to embrace. The road ahead of you is undoubtedly challenging. Lots of ups and downs. You will doubt and want to give up so many times. And if you know in your head that you have an option to come back, you won't go all in. You won't put even more than 100% effort. You may only put in 50% of effort. And then you tell yourself that, hey, I tried and I fell. So at least now I know and now I go back. That's the bullshit excuse that most people often tell themselves. They only put in half-ass effort because somewhere in the back of their mind, they know that they still love that comfort zone. They still love that familiar. And I know it's very difficult. It's like right now you live in a $1 million house. But the universe, life, tells you that, hey, you have to destroy that $1 million house if what you truly want is $10 million house. But I know it's hard. When life doesn't really guarantee you that $10 million house yet, but you have to burn that $1 million house, whether you will have that $10 million house or not. It's hard. It's the same thing up life in your life. Success is not guaranteed. And you have to willing to say goodbye to the good, to go for the great, to go for the excellent. And it's not easy. When that excellent is not guaranteed, when that greatness is not guaranteed, and all you see in the moment is struggles, hardship, adversities. But that's why it's so important that you need to burn the boat. You need to burn that bridge and say goodbye to the past permanently. You have to fight it like a life and death situation. This is not an option. You see, when you give yourself an option to go back, you won't go all in. You won't be committed. But when we burn that boat, when we burn that bridge, we give ourselves a permission to succeed. Because when you experience hardship, when you experience difficulties, 
you won't back down. You will find a way to get through it. You will do whatever it takes to accomplish success, to accomplish your goal. Because that's the only path that you have. You don't have any other choices. So what is the key takeaway? Stay focused. If anything doesn't really make you happy or serve you, then drop it. Burn the boat. Burn that bridge. Yes, I know it's scary. It's very uncomfortable. Because now you don't have any safety net. No more security, no more plan B or C. The only plan you have is plan A. That's it moving forward, moving towards your greatness. That's the only option that you have. And I know this mindset is not easy at all. But we need to practice. We need to embrace it. If what we want is greatness. Many times in life, I always give myself an option A, an option B or C. So that when option A doesn't work, I can go back to other options. I went to college. I did an engineering degree. But my passion is to become a speaker, become a life coach, become a podcaster. But if I tell myself that, hey, if this path, if this part of speaking doesn't work, I can always go back to that engineering job. I always have an option B or C with me. But little did I know that because of option B or C, that's what's really hold me back for my dreams, for my purpose, for my vision. And that's why we need to stay focused and remove distraction. If anything doesn't serve your purpose, if anything doesn't serve your dreams, we need to burn it. Even though it is good in the moment, But if it doesn't really serve your greatness, we need to say goodbye to it. You have to realize that. Our default setting is to run back to the comfort zone the moment we experience pain or inconvenience. That's why most people simply settle. They can't handle the pain. They can't handle the discomfort. It feels so intense in the moment. But let me tell you this. That pain, that discomfort won't last forever. It's only last for a moment. Stay the course. Keep going. You will get through it. Don't give up. Don't back down. You don't have any other option. The only option you have is moving forward. When you know that the only option you have is moving forward, you will put all of your effort in. And make it happen. That's it, the mentality that you need to embrace. Commit. Commit all the way. Not half ass, but all the way. I know it's not easy to embrace the mindset of burning the bridge. It's not easy for me, and it's not easy for you. We love the past, we love our familiar. We love our comfort. We love the no. Who doesn't, right? But we also know that in order to grow, we have to be willing to step outside of our comfort zone, to step outside of our safety net. And the best way to help us achieve our greatness is to burn the boat, burn the bridge. Say goodbye to the past permanently and move forward to your future. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I just want to let you know that this channel has been growing because of your loyalty. So from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you. And never forget that you are capable of anything you put your mind to. Believe in yourself. Trust yourself. You can do this. And until next time, thank you.